Super Bowl Sunday, Jerry. It's here, almost here. And it's our new thing. We, we, uh, we predicted two weeks ago who would be going to the Super Bowl. Wow, wasn't that just fabulous? It was so much fun. And, was... and we as dear wise women doing this, full disclosure, I'm not football, but you can watch, look at our pre-recording on dearwisewomen.com. And Jerry is known as Diamond was. Jerry. Yes, it was a long time ago, but I'll accept the name for, for when we do our football predictions. I will be Diamond Jerry for football. I do think so because we're okay. 2 and 0 from last from uh yep, from two weeks ago. Yep. So what do we think? We have the Bengals versus the Rams. Yes. And we have the spread, so you know, that's why we won last time. That's true. I, I did learn well, that. Well, we've had the Bengals you. outright, but true. Still not so sure about those Rams. So let's take a look. Where are we going to start with quarterbacks? Okay. The Bengals. Joe, Joe Burrows. Burrows. Yep. He's an eight of clubs, 10 of diamonds, and a 10 of hearts. Those are great cards. Those are just. They, they are. I mean, you, your quarterback needs to be able to think. Eight of clubs. He's got the, the brains. Ten of diamonds surrounded by people. Ten of hearts. Success with groups of people. He's got, like, the best cards at a quarterback for a personality. But what are his cards for the day? Do share, Jerry. He's got a ten of clubs, mm. which is accomplishment that day with using his brain. Jack of spades, which is like. It, it it's such a great card with the right intentions. And we know he has the right intentions for that day. So he is going to be the super, it's like plotting out that game. And then he's got an eight of diamonds. Showing up he with might that even smile. Be, <laughs> he might even be the guy who at the end when they go, where do you, you know, you're going to go to Disney World or whatever, <laughs> you know, he might be that guy because that he likes to, to be in the spotlight. That's the spotlight card. Or he will be in the spotlight. True. And then he's got a three of hearts, which is a interesting card because, you know, quarterback, he's got to figure out who he's going to, you know, pass the ball to, whatever. It's more than one person. So That's he got that true. three of hearts. That works. But then he's got two, four. He got four diamonds, four spades. Those stable, wonderful, strong cards. Four spades. It's the rock. I mean... I love those cards. He's he's bringing it. He's bringing his game. He is. He is. He is. So, so he. Let's see. Who is he? Who are the Rams? Who you, is he challenging? We got Matt Stafford as the quarterback. What you got his cards? Oh, yeah, he's a five of spades, a king of diamonds, and a jack of hearts. Hmm. But, you know, it's interesting because the five of spades is that wanderer. You know, someone who changes positions a lot. You know, and not really sure, you know, I wonder how many teams he's been on. I, I haven't checked that, so I don't know the answer to that. Um, King of Diamonds, though, that's like that best business person. But this is, I guess it's about business to ultimately. Um, True. But, you know, that's, that's his personality. And Jack of Hearts, which is like the sacrifice for someone younger than you. So we don't know that about him. But his cards for the day, okay? Interesting. So now he's got that three of hearts Oof. that Joe Burrows has, but he has it in, at, right up front. So he's going to be trying to figure out where he's going to be passing his ball to or handing things off. And he's got that an eight of clubs, which is Joe Burrows' card. Yes. So I don't know if he's got his number that day or not. Then he's got the king of clubs, which you know and I know. Compared to Joe Burrow's Ten of Clubs. Ten of Clubs is the really mental accomplishment, but the King of Clubs is the master of knowledge. However, we know that he could be overthinking things, and that would not do him a service for the Super Bowl if he overthinks things and doesn't get things done. Then he's got a Six of Hearts, which is that peacemaker. He's got the peacemaker. And then he's got Seven of Hearts and a Seven of Spades, which sevens are, you know, sevens are sevens. You know, they're not, 
I, I don't know. If I had a choice, I'm going to go with Joe Burrows. I give my point to Joe Burrows, too, because it's interesting. They both have, with the, I'll go with the four of diamonds and the four of spades over the seven of hearts Absolutely. and the seven of spades. But I do think that um, with that king of clubs, he can overthink. But uh, with that six of hearts, I think he will make peace with it as well. But I'm giving this point match up to Joe. Yep, me too. So next, we're going to look at the head coaches. Oh, okay. So we got Zach Taylor. So Zach Taylor, it's interesting. He's got a nine of diamonds, a two of clubs, and a four of hearts. And, and I want to say something because as we look at these two teams, there are two families, right? Yep. That are coming together and one goes home the winner and the other one says we almost won. <laughs> so <laughs> I always love the personality traits between people. And so here he's got that four of hearts sack. So what does it say about him and his day? Well, he's got a ten of spades day, which is that workaholic. He's going to be working hard. Mm -hmm. um, seven of clubs. So that, that card is like, you know, could be a little pessimistic sometimes, but it's also wildly successful and brilliant, um, which I think he's, I think he's at that part of his life. And then he's got ace of clubs, which is searching for more knowledge and five of clubs. I mean, these are all, he's got so many clubs and those clubs are what, a coach needs to be able to think and plan and plot and figure out what they're going to do, you know, to win this game. Then he's got a four diamonds like you, the stable, appreciate Hard what working. you got, right? Yep. Hardworking and appreciate it. And then the six of spades, which is the, uh, like the fate, like it's, it's a faded event, fated event. So maybe it's faded for them to win. Who knows? I, it could be. So let's look it at Sean McVay. Sean McVay, you know, he's the youngest coach to go to the, um, the Super Bowl, according to my Google skills. Ever? Yeah, that's what I Googled. Wow. So he, you know, with that three of diamonds and a double nine of clubs, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that three of diamonds, financial creativity, like he's got a, you know, the, the, the double nine clubs is wisdom. So he's got some really interesting, strong, strong cards compared to Zach Taylor. Um, I might even give we, him the, give him a little of the advantage when it comes to, um, to the cards, possibly. Well, because that three of diamonds, if they, if they embrace the warrior in them, with the Very nine successful. of clubs, they can they can really do it because they, they're the warriors, or they could be the warriors. Yeah. So it too, it depends on which how he shows up, and I know both teams are showing up to win, but only one can. That's win. right. So Taylor, Coach Taylor has a ten of spades. Right. Well, we said that already. That's now right. we have to we look at Sean McVay's day. <laughs> so it's say. really interesting. His first card on the day is a four of hearts. So he too has this family. So it's like, like both head coaches are embracing their families. Yeah. They're bringing their teams yes. to, the, to the Super Bowl. But he has like that, and that five of spades underneath him, which is Matt Stafford's card. Yeah. Interesting. And then he's got double six of hearts, Peacemaker. Mm-hmm. And double queen of diamonds. So like, that's an interesting combination. Like, I, I feel like he's going to possibly have to console everyone well, or, I, you know, make peace with it, you know, teach them how to make peace if they lose. I don't know. I, I, I think it's interesting because I also looked up that he's um, engaged to uh, Veronica March and, you know, hasn't set the date yet. And I'm not sure exactly of her cards because it could be the day before or the day after. I'm not sure. But all the days around her cards, she's, she's really smart. She's got that nine of spades and then the, the, the nine of clubs. So she has a, a strong uh, 
spiritual, a strong relationship with Sean McVay. So even if he loses, I think he still wins because maybe she'll set the date for their wedding. That would They've be been great. engaged for some time now. So we'll see if he gets down and says, when's the date? <laughs> but I have a feeling if Veronica wanted that date, she would just say, this is the day and show up. And he would with a smile on his face. There you go. Okay. So let's look you at the matchups. Okay. Joe Mixon. Joe running Mixon. Back. He's a running back. And, you know, it's funny because he's got that triple four of clubs. I know. So, you know, he's he's really, like, smart in his field. And he probably has all these different plays that he that he relies on to be really good at what he does. I mean, yeah, it's so interesting to me, not knowing, you know, realizing like how much of a mental game it can be. There's so many clubs on the team right. here. And the funny thing is he, his cards for the day, three of spades, triple three of spades then because it's only one card. Right. And the triple 10 of clubs. Uh, so he's <laughs> thinking, 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 thinking as he's creating his own story about writing his own story about how the outcome is going to be. And, and Joe Burrows has the same 10 of clubs. And, and, that Zach, day, Taylor, yes. Yeah, yes. and Zach Taylor has the five of clubs that day. Yep. Yeah. They, they are looking good. I give the point to Joe. Yeah. Well, we didn't, well, I mean, we didn't really talk about his, um, his rival is uh, Aaron Donald. That's right. We have to look Defensive at both tackle, sides. Defensive tackle, right. And he's got a nine of clubs and a double nine of spades. You know what? what? That's also a power. Oof. Right. That is. And he's very, he's got to be really wise and really like knowledgeable. But he's got a two of clubs and an ace of hearts for his first cards compared to that three of spades and 10 of clubs. Vastly different. And then he's That's got true. two five of diamonds and two ten of diamonds. Now, ten of, two ten of clubs, two ten of diamonds, I mean, they're both really great. So, I mean, I, I it's a wash. It, it is a wash, but I'm going to give a half point to Joe. Okay. Just because. Just because. Of the we, triple we, we like clubs. Joe. We well, like I like everyone, but it's the triple four of clubs. And it's his the ten of clubs with Joe Burrow. So I that's where I'm giving him a half point. Okay. So next, who's the matchup? Okay, then we got Jamar Chase. Um yeah. from the Bengals. He's a nine of spades, jack of spades, and a nine of clubs. It it's just this. Men mental power on this team. Yeah, I mean, it's, he's a bit of an old soul too. He is. And his cards for the day is he's got the King of Hearts, which is really interesting. This is a wide receiver, so like he's one of those guys who are going to make those touchdowns. Um. Yeah, he's King of Hearts, Two of Hearts. You can't you can't do that without another person. <laughs> I, I agree. And let's you know, see. So that, and then that, then he has a three of diamonds and jack of hearts. Three of diamonds all work real hard and appreciate what they have. And he's got a five of hearts and a queen of hearts. You know? This is just like a family team to me with all these hearts. His, I, I, I never yeah. thought of football as a family team either. But his competition or his matchup would be with Jalen Ramsey. True. And he's, he's got a jack, jack of hearts. hearts, two hearts, two diamonds. I mean, that's not nearly the same strength cards. No, what, what type of day is Jalen having? Jack of spades. Oof. Four of hearts, another four of hearts. I mean, another person who's considers the team his family and an eight of clubs. Wow. 
they're bringing they're bringing their game because that eight of clubs too relates back to um, to Joe Burrow. I don't know. This... Well, also to Matt Stafford. And to Matt Stafford's day, that's the play. Wow. So you get it's really hard to say. So now then we got um that Evan McPherson mm -hmm. who like I was told by my son that they picked him in the draft like really high up, like and it was really frowned upon because to pick a kicker in such a high a high spot in the draft they everyone considered was a waste but he's proving them wrong because he's winning them big games with his with his really like amazing ability to kick those field goals really far and we well, hardly know it but we saw a little of it last week and it was wow it, it is true he's at seven of clubs nine of hearts and that king of clubs yeah we don't want him overthinking it, though. He just has to have a master plan and, and go for it. Not to it's think about that. execution. Ex execution, yes. So, what kind of day is he having? He's having a seven of diamonds day, which is the um, the millionaire's card. Mm -hmm. It's a great card, and over four clubs. So, like, who is it? Who is the triple four clubs? Joe Mixon. So him and Joe Mixum could be like the dynamic duo. Like one gets the one one gets the um, the touchdown, and the other kicks the uh, the after point, whatever it's called. Um, I can't help you. I this is stupid what it's called. <laughs> we will learn all these things. I promise. Right now, we're just two girls trying to figure it out. <laughs> but you know, Jerry, this is like a new sport for us, um, or a new applying our knowledge to a new arena, new frontier. New yeah, sport. It's fun. Trailblazing women into the football right. arena. <laughs> right. So really quickly, we just we want to look at like DJ Reader because of um possible, personal connection. Personal connections. And he's got an ace of spades, three of diamonds, king of hearts, and five of spades. He is Princess Diana's birthday. We've written about that so many times. I know in the royal quandary, but Jerry, you know, so a friend of mine is is related to him, or someone I know is related to him. So he's at three of diamonds, and if he does that warrior and that ace of spades, we know he has that secret ambition. Yep. But that king of hearts, it's like he's like the core and a soul of this team as well. It's part of this family strength, and that five of spades but what kind of day is he having oh, so like he starts off with a jack of hearts over an eight of diamonds and then he goes to a ten of clubs over a four of spades and then he goes to a ten of spades over an ace of diamonds and the very last one is a three of hearts over a ten of diamonds but he's got great cards I think the Bengals are bringing their game and they're bringing it home. That's my pick. I'm not going to argue with you. That's our pick because, you know, I'm not picking the Rams. I mean, the no, Rams I... have some really good people like we didn't talk about. Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham and Oh, let's Matt Let's Gray. give them, let's talk about them for a moment because we have to look at the whole team because, you know, we look at both sides. So let's make sure we didn't overlook something. So Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup. He's a two of diamonds, a jack of spades, and a ten of diamonds. Right. And then his second card is an ace of clubs, ten of spades, two of diamonds. You know, he's a good player. What can I say? Yeah, I mean. Doesn't flip my decision, but he's a good player. Yeah, but he has a lot of young cards there if you look closely. Well, they were, they look like they're a fun team. You know, win or lose, you know, they're both going to the Super Bowl. Right. They, they do look like a, a fun team to be with. Maybe not right after, but maybe a few days later. Um, they have a lot to be proud of. 
and then who else did we miss? Um, the only one was Mac Gray that I could find. Yeah, he's an eight of diamonds, three of diamonds, ace of spades, and the ace of clubs. Crazy cards. You know, that I just see them What's all that connected. What is that birthday? March 15th. Wow. A girlfriend is that who's has that birthday. But he, he's got to be a guy that walks on with a smile on his face. And he may worry, but he's going to embrace his warrior. Yeah. And, and, and I'd be does, a little secretive. You well, know. he has ambition. And, yep. and he's got that, that, that young knowledge. Like he loves to learn things. He's, sometimes people don't know that about themselves till later yeah. on. Oh, they I discover know. different yeah. traits. But he does. And right. he's, got a, he's got a very good day, right. actually. Ten of clubs, two of hearts. And ten of clubs relates right back to Joe Burrows and um, and who else? There's a few people who have ten of clubs. Well, there's a lot of ten of clubs yeah. in, this, in the day. Two of hearts, six of clubs, nine of spades. Nine of spades, two of diamonds. Queen of Spades, Seven of Diamonds. I mean, they're oh. all good cards. They're nothing that would make me jump out of my seat. You know, when you look at the the Rams as a whole, as an entire package, I still like the Bengals. Well, I think the Bengals family is bringing it home. That's my pick. Our pick. Our pick. It's always in the cards and it's always fun. Yes. So... You can watch us on dowisewomen.com. Yep, you can, you can go straight to the YouTube channel, Jerry Isaacs, J-E-R-I-I-S-A-A-C-S. And I'm Donna Bernard. Thank you for joining us. Jerry Isaacs, peace out. Good luck. Go Bengals.